Former Loveland cop Dalen Miller has been taken into custody after being accused of going after a 15-year-old girl. On Monday, November 6th, Loveland Police Chief Tim Duran confirmed this news during a conference that Miller is a suspect in the case, and he faces multiple charges. According to Tim Duran, the department worked well and immediate action was taken when they became aware of the allegations against Miller. Along with the charges, the suspect also faces a kidnapping charge as well. The victim claimed that Miller went after them in July of 2023. Authorities revealed that Dayla Miller's name as the suspect in the case of a 15-year-old girl. The victim claimed that she first came across Miller during a traffic stop. The next time she met him was allegedly in July at North Lake Park. She claimed that she was there after hours with a friend and Miller, who was an on-duty cop at the time, allegedly asking the victim's friends to leave. After the friend left, Miller reportedly took the young girl to a remote area and went after her, according to the sheriff. Quote, the respect that I have at this moment for this young woman and her family have come forward and make this known to us is beyond measure. After being arrested on Monday, November 6th, Dalen Miller has been charged with with multiple accounts, including a person in a position of trust and unlawful acts conducted by a peace officer. Police chief spoke about the alleged incident and stated this, when a member of our department is accused of violating the law, I will act swiftly. The family first contacted the police, reporting the incident on October 23rd of 2023. The Loveland Police Department requested that Lemire County Sheriff's Office to lead the investigation and conduct interviews. Shortly after the arrest, Miller was fired from his job. The chief stated, quote, you can rest assured we acted as quickly as possible to identify and place the former officer on leave to minimize his contact with the public. It was also reported that along with the charges mentioned earlier against David Miller, he also faces a kidnapping charge, first degree official misconduct and official oppression. He is being held at the Lemaire County Detention Center. It has been discovered that the ex-cop has been with the Loveland Police Department since 2022. Prior to that, he was employed by the Durango Police in 2020. Durango Police Chief Bob Bammer also stated and confirmed that they cannot find allegations against the suspect when he was working with them. Quote, we did put a news release out, and if new information comes our way, we will certainly investigate it to the end. Authorities are working to try and identify if there are any more victims. I'm not sure if it's just me or not, but I didn't really hear anything referring to a very harsh sentencing. I, I didn't hear anything like that. I just heard there's an investigation. He was removed directly from the force and yada, yada, yada. And then they also had another instance of a previous police force stating that, hey, well, he did work for us at a moment of time. We put out an inquiry and we didn't really get anything back or we don't see any signs or symptoms that this is the type of person that he was when he was working with us. But we will continue to look and see if we can find anything that comes across our desk. If it does, we will send it directly with the other law enforcement um, agencies that are you know, working on the case. Again, this is something that is highly prevalent in a lot of police agencies. This is what tends to happen when you have people in power in these types of positions. They feel like they can do any and every single thing while still trying to, quote unquote, uphold an oath, uphold the law and trying to protect and serve them. Realistically, the only thing they're protecting and serving is themselves. The only person that they are literally harming is the ones in the communities, such as the children. And, you know, for the life of me, it's amazing how stories like this don't really get the time of day. Every news organization out here could literally have a 24 hour rotation showing you cops, teachers, um, other people, including nurses, doctors and whoever that are doing these exact same things on an everyday basis, time and time again, fresh faces. And they can also show you the fact that some of these people who have been caught and who have been charged are still out there doing the exact same thing, meaning that they are repeat offenders. And the reason why you have repeat offenders is due to the fact of that you don't have harsher laws when it deals with grown adults going directly after children. Like I said, it's amazing to me how this happens. Amazing. But then it's not so amazing once you understand the fact that a lot of the people who don't want to uh, specifically 
put a spotlight on it, meaning mainstream media, meaning the judges, meaning, uh, you know, all of these news organizations. That's because a lot of them are in on it. Because it's one big party and you're not invited. You're not a part of it. So they're going to make sure to maybe here and there sprinkle and, you know, talk about a few people here when realistically it's a it's way more than you could ever imagine. Way more than you could ever imagine. And it's way more horrible. And this is why I said before, it is up to the parents. It is up to the adults, the guardians out here who legitimately really care about kids and actually love kids and want to protect them and nurture them and see them grow and see them thrive. It is up to you to go out here and to do all of the footwork and to try to get rules and, and legislation and all of these things passed. Because it's interesting how you can get all of these laws and legislation passed for grown adults in other groups. But seemingly, we, we lack the possibility of even being able to do the same thing for children. When children are the only reason that adults even exist, being real. Because if, if you don't have a younger generation... It's only a matter of time before the older generation ceases to exist because whatever the message the older generation has or held dear, nobody's going to be there to carry it. Nobody's going to be there to hold that torch and lift it up high and pass that on to, you know, the next ones coming up. It's nothing. It's it. It's, it's, it's going to be what it is going to be. So, again, this is why it's very important for people to pay attention to these stories so that they specifically know the types of individuals, the types of adults that are directly out there and how it is that they decide to move and work um, amongst and within the system so that they can do things like this on an everyday basis.